I will cook along with you. This is Cooking Up a Storm and Jeremy Vine. Right, apron's on. What do I need to do next? I'll follow you. All right, very simple. Therefore, we have eggs, flour, and a little bit of milk. Yeah. Eggs. Therefore, what we need is about the value of two eggs. Okay. Eggs in yeah, first. Just correct them up. This. Okay. One egg. Oh, John Christophe, what do you do when you get shell? I use the, uh, other, I use the other shell to take it out. There we you go. Remove it. Done. Actually, mon Dieu, it's not too much an, an issue because when you pour your mixture of the eggs, the, the egg shell had to actually stay in the bottom of the container. Now, you keep mixing your eggs gently. Got it. And what you do now, straight away, you add about the value of four soupspoons of flour. If you can, organic would be lovely. Or go. close. Lovely. Whisk away. Oh, Jean Christophe, I'm making a mess. I don't think so. Oh, I don't see really too much what you're doing. And what it's, you do is you mix it. It's looking very lumpy. Have you added milk? No, yet. What we want to do is to create like a ribbon with the flour and the eggs. Keep okay. mixing. And what's happened by mixing, you actually lose out all the lumps. Oh, I okay. wish I had a jack to help me mix. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. When you satisfy with the mixture, you add a little bit of honey. Just oh. not too much. Oh, what the, the honey will do is to bring a little bit of moist and also add to color the pancakes. Lovely. Oh, I'm liking this. Yeah. And then the only thing we don't have to measure too much is the liquid, which is the milk. Therefore, I've got roughly about half of a cup of uh, full fat milk. And what we need to do now, okay, mix, all good. Jacques, Jacques is going to pour the milk very slowly. This is Jacques. Like wood. <laughs> 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 we did that before. Okay, keep going. Do we pour all the milk in? This young, this little boy there, well, he's not a little boy, he's eight year old. He's always asking questions, which is fantastic. Okay. And especially when you're cooking. All now, the milk, perfect. here we go. Okay, it's fine, both ways. Now you keep mixing. Oh, the milk is shell in it. Perfect. And what's happened now, which is very important, is to use the back of a spoon and try to make a mark with your finger. And you can acknowledge very quickly the mark is not over cover. That means the, the mixture is. Good enough. So I use uh, that. This on. recipe. Yeah, that works. I think the I think the biggest mistake of making a pancake is to put putting too much liquid. Therefore, you can do it in two stages. And uh, and basically speaking, this liquid, which is this mixture, which is quite liquid, is going to make you some very fine, very thin pancake, and that's what we want. Now we've got the pans on. Occasionally, you can add a little bit of rapeseed oil, which allows not to stick too much on your pan. But if you got some non-stick pans like those ones, that's fine. Therefore, I've actually now made a recipe, and I gave I, I gave it I gave it about 13 minutes to rest, which allow everything to combine. And basically, Jean and Jack now are going to be demonstrating how to make how to cook the pancake. Are you ready, boys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go for it. Oh, you the guys are going to need is to have a pan relatively hot. Yeah, you can. And then you put it in the middle, and then like just, not too much, and then you like start like using the pan Whoa. to do this, <laughs> and then just like don't, don't like fill it all up with that because it will, you could get like another one. Okay. So if you mix it all up, then it will like help, and then it will fill up the whole pan. Okay, I think what Jack is trying to say as much as John is initially you need to wait for the pancake to steam up and this yeah. is all the excess of moist which are not obviously welcome. And when the pancake stops steaming, what we do is we turn it over very gently by flipping or just using a spatula. Okay. You ready, boys? Yeah, and when it stops steaming, you've got to um, uh, go around the sides and uh, you know, like this, you break it apart on the side. It's starting to bubble, is that right? Oh. Yeah. I just split the pancake! Yay! <laughs> oh, mine's isn't kicked it! Yes! 
Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. I think we've got Rezzy. Can you flip a pancake? You've got the, of course I can flip a pancake. You've got the ready-made one there. This is fantastic. Yes. Oh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. 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 So we can't actually hear you very well. Okay, well I'm going for a I'm going for a flip now. I'm so nervous. I don't think I've ever been so nervous in my life. Have a try. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> almost, almost. So then I just have to leave that to cook on that side for a wee bit. I think what I have here, uh, Jean Christophe, I think he'll agree, Michelin star chef, that what I have here is a bit of texture to my pancake. Um, it's, I think homemade pancakes are better when they're a little um, rough around the edges. Listen, you've done very well. It's your first pancake, and it's always the same. The first is the one, is the transition one. And then the more you do it after so, the more you get, obviously, far more uh, consistent pancakes. Oh, listen, thank you so much. Do. They look absolutely well, you know, delicious. It's to add a little bit of uh, little fruits, which has been cooked very exactly, like plums, rhubarb, which is the time of the year, anything seasonal. And a, a little bit of ice cream on the top, and this is probably the most delicious, the most exciting way to enjoy Don't cooking. Oh, nice! Oh, now, John Christophe, I am salivating. Yeah. That looks absolutely delicious. Oh, is that so flipping? Because we just about the pancakes and the boys are going to go absolutely... Okay, have a try. No, don't put you Not too much honey, what are you doing? You don't normally do it. Oh, Jean-Christophe Novelli, thank you so much. And thank you very much to Jean and Jack for helping out. They looked absolutely divine. I'm so hungry now, I didn't get breakfast. Bye, guys. Oh. It's Gosh, so hard I wish I was at their house. Here and watching that and not being able to eat it. I mean, I was quite looking forward to trying out your pancake storm, but not so sure now. Mm. <laughs>